name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today the church remembers the great act of a martyr, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, who died, offered himself in place of someone in the Second World War. In a way, he showed this act of charity, act of love. Today in the Gospel, we also see another way how you can be loving towards your neighbor when your neighbor deviates sins against. Let us prepare ourselves with these initial thoughts that how we can be an instrument of charity showing God's love in this disturbed world for the times we have been uncharitable towards our neighbors. Let us be sorry as we prepare for the sacred mysteries in contrite heart. Let us say, I, I confess, confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly, greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, to my faults, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We offer this Mass as thanksgiving offered by Mila Green Menezes. Let us pray for our sister. Also for John de Costa for the 27th death anniversary of this brother. Let us pray so that God may grant him eternal rest to this holy sacrifice. We also pray for our sister Petu Matos celebrating her 74th birthday. We pray for a good health and happiness in life. Let us also put our petitions. We are here at this holy place let us pray for our personal intention. Maximilian Kolbe is a patron of all drug addicts. Let us pray for anyone sub suffering from any substance abuse, of the journalists, families, people who are going through distress, pro-life. Let us pray for all these intentions. O God, who feel the priest and martyr, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant to his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord cried in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Bring near the executioners of the city, each with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north, each with his weapon for slaughter in his hand. And with them was a man clothed in linen, with a writing case at his waist. And when they went in and stood beside the bronze altar, now the glory of the God of Israel had gone up from the cherub on which it rested to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed in linen, who had the writing case at his waist. And the Lord said to him, Pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and groan over all the, over all the abominations that are committed in it. And to the others he said in my hearing, Pass through the city after him and strike. Your eye shall not spare, and you shall show no pity. Kill all men outright, young men and maidens, little children and women, but touch no one on whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the house. Then he said to them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go out. So they went out and stuck in the city. Then the glory of the Lord went out from the threshold of the house, and stood over the cherubim. And the cherubim lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth before my eyes as they went out with the wheels beside them. And they stood at the entrance of the east gate of the house of the Lord, and the glory of the God of Israel was over them. These were the living creatures that I saw underneath the God of Israel by the cherub canal, and I knew that they were cherubim. Each had four faces and each four wings, and underneath their wings the likeness of human hands. And as for the likeness of their faces, they were the same faces whose appearance I had seen by the cherub canal. Each one of them went straight forward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, The glory of the Lord is above the heaven. The, the glory, glory of, of the Lord, Lord is above the, the heavens. heavens. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. Response. The, the glory, glory of the Lord is above the heavens. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens his glory. Response. The, the glory, glory of the Lord is above the heavens. heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who dwells on high, who lowers himself to look down upon heaven and earth? Response. The, the glory, glory of, of the Lord, Lord is above the heavens. Can we stand for the gospel?
Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother, but if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, and every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. But if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church, and if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we are in the 18th chapter of Gospel of Matthew and today's Parico passage is from 15 to 20, five verses. And in these five verses, the biblical scholars would divide this passage into two. One is correction, fraternal correction. And one is prayer in common. Correction, correcting somebody is a difficult task. It is not so easy to go and correct, settle the issue. But today Jesus gives us a beautiful methodology, a guiding textbook type of reconciliation, correction, to the brothers and sisters. Here it is brother. Let's be inclusive in our language to brothers and sisters. And the main mind behind any correction should be love. I hear many times, Father, I gave him right and left. I, I corrected him. I gave him tit for tat. This is not correction that Jesus wants here. I correct because I want to correct. No, my friends. I correct because I feel hurt within, yet I correct. So the basic premise of correction is love. When you don't feel love for that brother or sister, the correction has no meaning. In fact, the correction could be retaliation or a revenge that you want to seek. I read it somewhere. The person said this. If you want to correct somebody and you feel happy within to correct him, that means you are not correcting with a genuine reason. You are correcting maybe to settle scores. But you feel 
difficult you feel really hard to correct and yet with the help of holy spirit you correct that means that correction is genuine first thing he says is you know our thing is when somebody hurts us wrongs us we tell the whole world we isolate that person that person doesn't know anything but the whole mohalla the whole village the whole neighborhood the whole workplace knows everything but poor person doesn't know anything jesus says first before telling the world that's the last resort you go in silent in 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 privacy alone you go to that brother you go to that sister and then start settling tell him what wrong he has done or she has done alone between you and the person who has done wrong if he doesn't listen to you then you get good two three persons who have good repute not the ones who will tell the whole world and then settle it nicely and if that thing doesn't happen then the last thing would be to call the group church it is said community and settle and even things don't get settled you see for yourself don't tag him like that you are a pagan that is not said here jesus says you think that he is a pagan and leave him this is a nice way i feel to settle and in that process healing will take place sometimes we need to bring to the notice of our brothers and sisters i'll give a simple example this may not be related to faith when i was doing my college i was put in a parish and i had very hard time with my language english special english and i would mispronounce certain words and had my few mannerisms like i would say you know you know you know you know every sentence i would say you know you know just like a mannerism and my parish priest told me brother if you really want to improve be aware of this you are not aware sometimes these two words get easily get slipped from your tongue kitchen and chicken be aware of that also these mannerisms every time you say you know you know you know that helped me i could have retaliated but i said this man is saying not because he wants to put me down but this man this priest is saying because he wants me to see you know improving my language today most of the time i am aware when i say you know i know why because somebody had brought to my notice a decade ago this time this kind of paternal correction may not be only faith related but in any area you want to see your brother your sister excel in life the motive should be for the development progress love of the brother or sister not to see him ridiculously me that is your motive to put him down the corrections have no meaning the corrections may be for your ulterior motive but you really want to see your brother your sister excel you get pain within to correct you don't like to correct yet you correct like saint thomas aquinas would say this is an act of charity this is an act of charity difficult but in this we show love let us close our eyes and remember for the times we have left our brother just because we don't want to invite unnecessary trouble or we have ridiculed our brother or sister who had genuinely come to us and said sister this is what wrong you are doing brother this is what you are doing i don't like it and you did not pay heed to their request to their correction let us be sorry and take today heart to correct in a nice way and also accept corrections from others
pray brethren that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We present our oblation to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Maximilian Colby, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power. And on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new an eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, Simeon, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Maximilian Kolbe, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant our peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite my soul wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian received from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow we celebrate our Independence Day, Nations Independence Day. In view of that, on the eve, that is today evening, we'll have 
a prayer service praying for our nation and the prayer service will start at 6 7 pm till 10 pm 7 till 10 pm those who are around can participate in this prayer service the lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen correcting brother or sister is good but the soul of correction should be love should be love go forth the mass is ended thanks, thanks be to, to god, god. Thank you.